Good morning. This is Children's Chapel for the first Sunday after Christmas, which is December 27th. And I'm Robin, and this is Rennie. And oh, we can start with candles. Let's see if it works. start with a prayer. The, the Lord, Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for bringing us together today. Thank you for Christmas where we get to celebrate uh, your son Jesus' birth. Please work through us to share his love and joy with the world. In Jesus' name, amen. So today we are remembering Jesus and our gospel is actually from the gospel of John that talks about the birth of Jesus in a different way. But I thought first we could kind of review what happened on Christmas Day. So first, do you know what the, they, some people were traveling. Do you know where they were traveling? Um, Remember what the city is? To Bethlehem. Yeah, to Bethlehem. So we'll have that be Bethlehem. Here's our road. I'm traveling on the road to Bethlehem. And who was traveling on the road? Mary and Joseph. Yeah. So here's Joseph. I want to open up. Okay. Here's Mary. I want to Here's the donkey. Their donkey. Yep. So they travel to Bethlehem. When they get to Bethlehem, Mary can tell she's about to have a baby. How can she tell? Um, you can tell when you're about to have a baby. You feel some pressure. You feel the baby moving around and pushing down. And so, um, and so they're trying to find a place to stay. But what happens, do you know? They ask them, but they all say no. They all say no, there's not room for them in the end. So where do they end up staying? In the manger. Yeah, so here's a stable. So they stayed somewhere with the animals. Okay, they didn't put it here, they could see better. Yeah. Okay. And so Mary and Joseph go to the stable with the animals. Oh, here's another animal at the stable. And something amazing happens at the stable. What happens? Jesus is born. <gasps> Jesus is born. So Mary gives birth to Jesus, and then they put him in what? A Why does he have a um, thing on his head? Oh, it's a halo to say there's something special about this baby. Okay. So, and then that very night, that Jesus is born, something happens somewhere else in Bethlehem. The um, so shepherds come because shepherds. the angel told shepherds. them. They're shepherds? Yeah, because here's the angel. What did the angel tell them? I don't know. I'm going to go see which one I'm for. Okay, <laughs> the angel told them that this day in Bethlehem a Savior is born. He is Christ the Lord. And you'll find this as a sign. There will be a baby wrapped in bands of cloth lying in a manger. So then the shepherd, shepherds go and see baby Jesus. So that is what we celebrate on Christmas. And our gospel, though, today is from a different book. So this is from the, the, the gospel of Luke. And then our gospel reading for today is from the fourth gospel, the gospel of John. And John tells the story of Jesus in a very different way. Why? Well, God, John kind of wants to get at like deep theological truths about Jesus. And so I'm gonna show you this. I'll hold this up because the angel falls. Oh yeah, the angel's fine. So for, for me to tell the next part though, I need to put some different things on here. So we're gonna move these. Can you help me move them? Mm -hmm. I really need to do that. Because we're going to put some different things up there to tell it from the Gospel of John. Thank you. And finally the angel. And the angel. I'll move Bethlehem. Thank you. We just need Wendy stuff. Yeah. Wendy said I can use it. Why? Well, she's very generous. Mm -hmm. Oh, so we know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this big white cloth on. Let's see if that works. Can I do that? Can you open it up? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> you 
Easier said than done. All right, I'm gonna move it over a little bit. I'm gonna put it in the middle so we can see. Let's see if that works. Okay, we're trying it out. All right. Here's the best way, Jen. I'm gonna put my that so I can see. Okay. Oh, and you know what? For this story, we're gonna make it a little bit dark so we can just see the light. Can you turn the light off? Why? Oh, because I said it. Did you hear me? Oh, I we're gonna use dark. some light. Do I need to maybe close the no, door? That's fine. Just go sit down. Okay. okay. Nope. That's part of the story. Okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Are they? This, a reading from the Gospel of Jesus Christ according to St. John. In the beginning was the Word. You can see it. And the Word was with God. And the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life. And life was the light of all the people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. Can you hold it? Why do you do it on water? <sighs> to symbolize life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do you want to leave that light on for a minute? Oh. Is that fun? Okay. I'll do it like that. Okay. So I have some wondering questions. I wonder what images you heard in today's reading. Like what pictures? That was not really a story. I know. It was a, like a different way to describe what happened when Jesus was born. What images come into your mind as you hear the passage? Share in a word or two all the pictures you saw in your mind as you listened. Mommy, his head come up here. Oh, come here. Head come up. Oh, oh my. Did you break something? Oh, it's just part of that puzzle. And what? Do you know what it is? It's Mary and Joseph and the star. It's just part of the puzzle. I can work on it with you in a minute, okay? So, what do you think? Mommy and Dad. Hey, Rory. Listen, my love. Mommy and Dad. Hey, Rory. Hey. Ro Rory. We're doing children's chapel, so you can sit and listen, or you can go and play. What's your choice? I don't want to sit and listen. Okay, then you have to sit on your bottom, and you have to close your mouth. Does can you do that? Okay. Hey. What do you think the writer means by the word from the beginning? So this is the word, it's a symbol for the word. What do you mean it's a symbol? And how is this a symbol for God? Well, because this, if you put it together, this is a symbol for the Trinity. What's because Trinity? The Trinity is God. Because Trinity means three in one. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So it's saying, so I used it to symbolize that the Son, Jesus, was with God and was God. Does that make sense? What does light mean to you? What do you associate with light? What do you think about when you think about light? We've got our flashlight right here. Mm, sun. The sun, sure. Yeah. Why do you think the writer chose these images to talk about Jesus? So the oh. word and light and love. Yeah, it's kind of mysterious. That's a fun thing about John to think about what he says for a while. Oh, it's low battery. Oh, it is. Maybe we should turn it off. Should we turn it? Here, we'll shine our light one more time. Then we're going to turn it off. I'll turn this light off. All right. Thank you. Okay. So today, while we ponder the, the mystery of the incarnation, God coming to be with us, we, our craft today, is we're going to make a Christmas card. So you guys have either green or red paper, and you can fold it. We have a sticker, and you can use a sticker or keep the sticker yourself, and then make a Christmas card. So we're thinking about what is the meaning of Christmas, that Jesus came to be with us. Did you, did you send home a Christmas card? Yeah, we're going to send these home for you to make your own Christmas card. So you can make How, it for someone. Oh, do you can want I, a Christmas sticker? Yeah, for everybody. Everybody's getting a Christmas sticker.
you're excited. So you can make it for someone in your family, you can make it for a friend or a neighbor, you can mail it to them, you can drop it off at their house to share um, a blessing for Christmas because now, today, we're in the 12 days of Christmas. So Christmas isn't just on December 25th, it's a whole season, it's 12 days up to Epiphany. And so this is the season where we get to sing Christmas carols and we can share Christmas greetings and share Jesus's love and joy and peace with the world. And you could do that by making a Christmas card for anyone you would like. What do you have? The shepherds. The shepherds. That's right. Okay, so next we're going to have a time of prayer. So in your family, you can share anything that you would like to be praying about this week. Renny, is there anything you want to pray about? I'll move this over so you're not blocked by it. Laura, is there anything you want to pray about? No. No, okay. A sheep. Oh, are you showing the sheep too? Let's see. Oh, there's the sheep. I think some of you are going to be sheep in the Epiphany pageant. Mommy, yes. Mom, can I get some more people? You know what, right now we're going to pray. So you can sit with us and pray or you can go play. Your choice. Go play. Okay, go play. All right, let's pray. And we'll end with the Lord's Prayer. Oh, so we say, the Lord be with you. And also with you. Let it's us the pray. Wrong one. No, no, it's this says the right one. I did it right this time. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Are you doing anything wrong? Dear God, we were praying now. I did it. Wonderful. Dear God, thank you for sending your son to live among us, to experience all the pain and sorrow that we feel, and to be with us in the, our hard times and in our joys, and to know everything that we go through. Um, please bless all those who are suffering right now, people who are cold, don't have a place to stay, or are hungry. Use us as your hands and feet to help others. We pray especially for those who are sick, in our church family, we pray for Cindy, Cam, Lynette, Terry, Viola, Rhonda, Liz, Doug, Vivian, Barry, Father Warren, Lydia, and especially all those suffering from COVID-19, and the doctors and nurses and other healthcare workers that take care of them. We want to also um, thank you for all those celebrating birthdays this week. This past week, we had, I think I said them last time, so I'll start, but today we have Jean and Ellen, and this week Taylor and Ruthie, our special friend in nursery. We have Shirley, we have Lucy, our special friend in children's chapel. We have Nancy, and let's see, 27. We also have Judy, and um, we also want to pray for, oh no, not for Judy. We also want to pray for any other prayer requests that you guys have at home, you can pray. And now we pray the prayer of Jesus Christ. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. It's not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right, so you know what our craft is? And we, um, I hope you are having a wonderful Christmas with your family and staying safe and healthy. And, um, and if you are wanting to be in the Epiphany Pageant and you haven't already contacted me, please send me an email or call me. We're looking forward to doing that next weekend. And now we say, the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Peace, friends. We love you and we miss you and we hope you're doing well. Peace, Renny. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, did you hear this? 
I just had an idea, which is because it's Christmas, because we were singing our Advent song, but now, because it's Christmas, we could sing Silent Night. Okay, Rory, do you want to sing Silent Night with us? I think that's enough. Okay, are you ready? We'll sing the first verse. How's that sound? Because we know it real well. Okay. Ready?